Hello, welcome to Daily News from Majaya TV. Daily scientific gathering held by Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the Holy City of Qom. The House of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the Holy City of Qom hosted another session of its scholarly meetings. These meetings are attended by various groups of seminarians, clerics, and scholars who ask the questions from the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. The questions in the latest round of these meetings revolved around rulings on inheritance, the authenticity of the narrators of a hadith, the tafsir of verse 61 and 63 of chapter 18 in Quran, the meaning of Shia Islam, etc. The dear viewers can tune in these scholarly meetings every day at 11.15 a.m. Qom local time, live on Marjaya TV and other Shia TV networks, as well as the Al-Shirazi application. Representative of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi attends morning ceremonies for Imam Sajjad's martyrdom in Lebanon. In commemoration of the martyrdom of Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, Sheikh Jalal Ma'ash, the representative of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussein Shirazi, participated in multiple morning ceremonies held across Lebanon. These solemn gatherings included events at the Husseini of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in the Khandaq al ghamir area of Beirut, the Abu Dar al Ghafari procession, and the Ghaziya district observances in the city of Saida. These ceremonies witnessed the presence of the esteemed representative of the religious authority. Commemoration of Imam Sajjad's martyrdom by Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Karbala. The Office of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussein Shirazi in the Holy City of Karbala commemorated the anniversary of the martyrdom of Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, through a solemn ceremony. Numerous religious and scholarly figures, along with the faithful, attended the event to benefit from the insightful remarks of Sheikh Nasiri. This event emphasized the significance of honoring the rituals of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and gaining insights into the life of Imam Sajjad. PR manager of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi welcomes distinguished guests in Holy Kabbalah, Iraq. Sayyid Araf Nasullah, the director of the Public Relations Center at the Grand Ayatollah Shiraz's office in Holy Kabbalah, recently welcomed several tribal figures, including Sheikh Abdul Ali al Humayri, as well as cultural, social activists, and servants of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. During these meetings, he emphasized the importance of serving the mourners of Imam Hussein in the upcoming days of Arbain. He stated, Serving the mourners of Imam Hussein is not only a fundamental principle of our lives, but the very essence of our existence. Commemoration of Imam Sajjad's martyrdom by Grand Ayatollah Shiraz's office in Beirut, Lebanon. The office of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sara Hussein Shirazi in Beirut, Lebanon, paid tribute to the days of Imam Sajjad's martyrdom through mourning ceremonies. These ceremonies spanned three days and were attended by religious, social figures, and believers from all walks of life. The attendees had the privilege of benefiting from the insightful remarks of Sheikh Mahir al Dakrup during this event. Commemoration of Imam Sajjad's martyrdom by Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center in Baghdad, Iraq. The Women's Division of the Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center in Baghdad conducted a ceremony to honor the anniversary of the martyrdom of Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him. This event, held in coordination with the city's religious authorities, commenced with the recitation of verses from the Noble Quran. Mrs. Amiri, the head of the Women's Division, delivered a speech, and the gathering was graced with the presence of active women engaged in religious and cultural fields. PR Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi hosts commemorations of Imam Sajjad's martyrdom in Holy Karbala. The Public Relations Office of the same Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the Holy City of Karbala held a ceremony to commemorate the martyrdom of Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him. This event was attended by numerous religious, scholarly figures, mourners, and believers who actively engaged in mourning rituals. During the ceremony, Sheikh Zaki al Bayati discussed the pivotal role of Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, in conveying the events of Karbala. Mesbal Hussein Foundation's Initiatives for Arbain Walk Accommodation. Mesbal Hussein Foundation for Relief and Development in Holy Karbala, overseen by the Office of the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussein Shirazi in this city, is focusing on accommodating pilgrims during the Arbain. This foundation, dedicated to development and charity, is determined to expand ideas for pilgrims' welfare. Salah al Jashami from this institution mentioned the ongoing sessions to plan for the hosting of 50 million pilgrims by the year 2030 in Karbala. 
They aim to develop and implement various projects to enhance pilgrims' experiences collaborating with private sectors. Adel Al-Musavi, Arbain expert, and Dr. Samir Al-Khalil Al-Ibrahim, a tourism specialist, were present at this event. Imam Sajjad's martyrdom commemoration by Umul Banin Institution in Maysan, Iraq. Umul Banin Institution, a center associated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Maysan province of Iraq, observed the anniversary of Imam Sajjad's martyrdom through morning ceremonies. During this event, Sheikh Saad ad daraji spoke about the life of the fourth Shia Imam. Following his discourse, the attendees engaged in morning rituals, accompanied by the recitation of eulogies by the renowned reciter Haider al bakati Imam Sajjad's martyrdom commemoration by the Khadimat al hujjat Women's Association in Kabbalah. The Khadimat al hujjat Women's Association, an organization linked to Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussein Shirazi in Holy Karbala, observed the martyrdom of Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, through a solemn ceremony. Following the religious authorities' guidance, dozens of women attended this event to honor the occasion and participate in commemorative rituals of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him.